Morning guys, I just thought I'd shoot this quick video before heading to work. I know the lighting's bad and there's probably a lot of background noise. Just close this window. But I just wanted to talk about running shoes. So there's a lot of science and time and money that goes into creating the best, comfortable, uh, most supportive and basically some very clever marketing behind you know the latest and greatest running shoes so i just wanted to show you an example of my running shoe that i use and have been using for the last four years um and you can you know it's four years old because i'm not sure if you can see that little rip there and you, you know you've got the mud and the tracks and all that kind of stuff and actually not a lot of wear in that i think when i bought these this was in australian dollars so we're probably looking at about, you know, about 120, 120, 150 Australian dollars, which is pretty cheap for runners these days. Like it was the, the latest at the time, these are ASICs. This is not a paid endorsement. And as I said, I've had these for about four years and, you know, I'm not training for ultra marathons or anything like that. But, you know, and here's, here's my other one. So you can see, you know, you also got the wear through there. And, sorry, the lighting is bad. And, you can see that rip in that front bit right in there. So, it's been interesting because I've, I've had these for about, yeah, four years. And for probably the first three years, I was running the conventional way, which is on the rear foot. So landing, this is the ground landing like this and didn't have too many issues. And then recently when I've actually decided to take running more seriously and increase my miles and try and get better times, what I've found is that the runners have actually, or the trainers have actually started to wear on the outside. So through here and through the front. And that is actually because I, I'm landing actually because I'm landing more on the front of my front portion of my foot which then will put pressure on the outside and through the front and you know there is a lot of conflicting evidence out there at the moment as to which is the best running style but I know for a fact that I don't think running shoes as much as I'll try and convince you um, otherwise running shoes aren't the most important thing that prevents injuries it comes down a lot more to like your technique, your muscle tone and strength, your recovery, nutrition, all the extra stuff. And the shoes are basically just an accessory um, because you know you get a lot of barefoot runners these days that can run basically a full marathon without with basically minimal minimal impact shoes and they're fine. So the whole point of this video is don't go out and buy 300 pound or 300 Australian dollars um, you know, worth of trainers because you think, oh, it's going to make me run better, it's going to be better for my calves, and it's going to help me run faster. That, you know, may work for the first couple of times just through simply a placebo effect, but I can guarantee that you're better off actually focusing more on your nutrition, your technique, and your warm up and cool downs than it is to buy expensive shoes. I actually am probably going to buy <laughs> some new shoes because these are about to blow out on me. But um, yeah, you have to keep. You'll have to watch out for the the new shoe video when I finally decide to break open the piggy bank and um, get some new shoes. But I'm pretty sure that they won't be barefoot. But we'll see how that goes. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this style of video, make sure you leave a comment below or like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll post some more stuff for you soon. All right, have a great day.